Hey guys, it's Fernie. I know it's been a crazy long time since I made a video, but hopefully I'm getting back into the swing of things. I'll try my best. I know a lot of you have been like commenting me on Instagram and stuff and like, when are you gonna make another video? And I'm like, ah, I'm trying. <laughs> um, let's address the big elephant in the room. I have blue hair, <laughs> and I'll get more into that in the video. If you are reading the title, it should say August Favorites, if I did my job right. If I did, I'm gonna be very proud of myself, and I'll give myself a pat on the back. I'll give myself a pat on the back right now. <laughs> first things first, um, it should be kind of obvious, it's gonna be this. I got a new camera, it's the Nikon D5100. I'm completely obsessed with it. I got it for photography. And I've been having so much fun with it. I'll show you it with my mirror right now. You are actually on a candlestick. <laughs> I got a tripod, but it doesn't get as little as, like, this candlestick is. And you're on my desk right now. So, yeah, it's pretty much useless. Well, I use it for photography, so I guess it's not completely useless. Next, the blue hair. I used Manic Panic in Atom Atomic Turquoise, and it's the Amplified Formula. I swear by the Amplified Formula. I've used the regular formula, and I've used this. Go with this one. Uh, this one's a regular formula. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. Hot Topic, Spencer's, and Sally Beauty Supply sells this one. But I swear by the Amplified Formula. It leaves my hair so nice. It has great color payoff, and the weird thing is that the Amplified formula doesn't stain as much as the regular formula, so that's really weird because the one with the better color payoff doesn't stain my bathtub as much as this one does, which is weird in my book. Um, I've only seen these online, I've never seen them in stores or anywhere, I think they're like 10, 11 bucks a piece, so they're not terribly bad. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. I've been getting really into um, perfumes and colognes and everything, and right now I'm completely obsessed with Nirvana by Elizabeth and James. And Elizabeth and James is by the Olsen Twins, which I'm completely obsessed with. I love the Olsen Twins. Circa 2008-2009 is um, when I really like fell in love with them, when they look homeless and bohemian <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Anyways, I love this perfume. It, I got it at Sephora. I'm sure it's like around $80 for this. It's like, it looks like a cigarette um, case. Like, whenever, I, I, when I get bag checks at work, like, all my managers see these and they're like, what is that? Do you smoke cigarettes? And I'm like, no, it's my perfume. Oh, it smells so good. It smells, I'm horrible at explaining scents, but I'll try my best. <laughs> it smells really woodsy. Like, musky, but still kind of fresh, not musky, like, gross, you know? It smells really good. Next is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Even Finish Foundation in SPF 15. I love this stuff. I've been using it for three months now. Three or two months. Bobbi Brown and um, NARS is really good with their olive tone colors. Because, um, a lot of the times I get foundations and they'll be too orange or too warm tone for my skin tone. But Bobbi Brown and NARS are really good with their olives. So if you have the same problem, try them. They're really good with matching what needs to be matched. <laughs> Next is, um, NARS bronzer. I've, I've gone through a lot of it. Usually I use Hoola bronzer, but um, it's not as dark as Laguna, and right now, since it's almost towards the end of summer, obviously, um, I've been getting darker and darker and darker, and then the Hoola bronzer doesn't show so much on my skin when I'm so dark, so I need to go to Laguna. Um, it's a good color. It has, it looks like it's like shimmery, but I don't see it when it's on. I just contour my cheeks and... Good to go. Next are the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealers. I have two of them. This one's in 6 and this one's in 8. This one's more true to my skin tone, but this one is for highlighting. And this one is for spot cover-ups. 
Um, I usually use cream concealers, but they kind of set into, like, fine lines and crooks and nannies, but these stay put, and I, I love these. Full coverage, can't go wrong with them. Next is, um, the Body Shop Body Butter in Vineyard Peach. This smells so good, you guys. It smells exactly like a fucking peach. Oh, I get so many compliments when I wear this with this or this with this. And this is Versace Yellow Diamond. I like this too, but I know, I don't know, I'm more into the musky smell now. <laughs> and the uh, Yellow Diamond has more of a sweet smell. Next is, I'm sure you can hear it already. This necklace, it's from Urban Outfitters. I got it for 60 bucks. I know $60 is a lot for a necklace, but... Come on. I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere. People post it on their outfits of the days all the time on Instagram and like every bohemian blogger blogs about this necklace. I'm completely obsessed with it. It does jingle like this when you have it on. I feel like a cat like running around I'm like no. It's completely amazing. I oh, it's so heavy and so nice. <laughs> For some reason, I like heavy things. Like, I like heavy necklaces, heavy shoes. You can't go wrong with chunky stuff, you know? <laughs> I'm completely obsessed with it. I saw my coworker, she wore it one time, and then it was love at first sight. And I'm never going back. Next is this wide brim hat I'm wearing. It's from Urban Outfitters. It was around 60 bucks. I am completely obsessed with it. I've been wearing it, like, all summer long. The summer is not going to stop me from wearing any of my black clothes, <laughs> and I, I'm completely floored by it. Um, I saw it and it straight up reminded me of um, American Horror Story, Coven, and ugh, ugh, so I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> uh, next shoes! Um, I got these uh, Chelsea boots from ASOS. I'm sure they were like around 65 bucks. Um, I got them because Harry Styles wears a similar style to these Chelsea boots, and I love Harry Styles. He's so pretty. <laughs> Harry, call me, please. <laughs> Next um, are these boots. They're um, Docs. I don't know if the ones with the big platform have a special name, but I got them in Burgundy. I think I got them from Urban Outfitters as well, online. I'm completely obsessed with them. They're extremely heavy, but they're really comfy and super durable. And come on, how can you go wrong with Burgundy dogs? Like, get into it, girl. I'm serious. <laughs> Next thing I've been wearing all summer long are the shorts. I get them from thrift stores. They're, they start off as mom jeans and then I cut them up really short and roll up the bottoms. I'm actually wearing some right now. These are distressed and I didn't um, cuff the bottoms with these. But I get them for three bucks each, you guys. Like, if you got these at Urban Outfitters or Brandy Melville, you'd be getting to it. <laughs> Next thing I've been wearing all summer long are button up short sleeve shirts. This one is from Zara. I got it for 25 bucks. It was on sale. I'm not sure if they have the sale yet. I don't think so. I think they changed their sale windows to actual windows. But that's a chambray shirt. And then this is from Forever 21. It's a plaid. I guess it's a dark red. I'm not sure if it's burgundy. Dark red with the denim sleeves. And I believe this was 1980. Bye! Next, um, well, I got this inspiration of doing, um, August Favorites from a YouTuber, Gigi Gorgeous. I'm sure you've seen her. She's beautiful. She's amazing. She's hilarious. She's hilarious. And at the end of her video, she always does her favorite book and her favorite movie, which I think is amazing. It kind of broadens people's horizons and... They kind of get to know you a little bit more than just showing you clothes and makeup and whatever. So instead of a book, I'm going to do a comic book. So uh, don't, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm doing The Young Avengers. I love these comic books. They're amazing. 
My favorite character in this is Wiccan. He's right there. He's the son of Scarlet Witch, which I'm obsessed with Scarlet Witch. And um, he's beginning to see his magical power. When they first start out, um, they pretend to be like a knockoff version of the Avengers, pretending they have their powers and everything else. But you soon to find out that they have no resemblance to the Avengers and they're only doing it to get their attention because they want the Avengers to reform. <laughs> Next is the movie. Um, I'm choosing The Craft. If I could, I would choose this movie every single month. <laughs> it's about four witches who start to discover their powers and see what they can do. I remember seeing this movie for the first time when I was a kid and I completely fell in love with it. it kind of showed me the dark side and I will forever be grateful for that. If you haven't seen it, I completely recommend it. It's such a good movie. Ugh. I can't get enough. <laughs> Anyways, that's it guys. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, yeah, and hopefully it's good to see my face again. I think I have like 300 subscribers. Which is crazy because I don't make any videos and I'm still getting subscribers. I still get the emails and stuff like, Hey, you have a new subscriber? I'm like, I haven't made a video in almost like a year. Girl, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Anyways, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I don't tweet that much because I don't really get it. I don't know how. <laughs> Sorry. Give me pointers. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.